A backside 360 over a park jump is an awesome feeling trick. Start by doing a straight air to feel the speed required for the jump. The ideal entry path for all backside spins is to set up with a smooth heel edge carve towards the side of the jump, then transfer to your toe edge while riding up the lip. This line of entry allows you to be on your toe edge as you leave the lip of the jump, but still fly in a straight direction while in the air. Use this entry path for a backside 180. Back ones should be easy before moving on. Most park jumps have a downhill inrun and an uphill lip. The point of flat ground between the inrun and the lip can be called the setup point. This is the approximate point for three important aspects of spinning. First, it's the point where you transition from your heel edge setup carve onto your toe edge. Second, it's the point where you'll be most compact with your legs. As you pass through the setup, you begin to extend back up with your legs for pop. And third, it's the point where you start to open up your arms and shoulders to wind up for your backside spin. Right as you leave the lip of the jump, release the wind up of your arms and shoulders. The major difference between the 180 and a 360 is the amount of rotation you initiate. The faster you release your wind up, the quicker you'll spin. As you leave the lip, it's very important to keep your back up relatively straight with the bulk of your weight over top of your board. You'll be on your toe edge, but create this edge angle by pushing your hips and knees forward rather than leaning over your edge. Keeping upright off the lip will help you stay flat and balanced while spinning. Once you're in the air, there's not a lot you can do. The back three has been initiated on the lip. Stay compact for good style and try to tie a connection between your upper and lower body by tensing your abdomen. As you take off, your head turns towards your back shoulder and will continue looking in this direction throughout the first half of the spin. Your landing will come into view and you'll be able to see everything for the second half of the 360, which will make the landing of a back three relatively easy. Jumping 360s on a trampoline is great to practice for several reasons. It helps with the timing of your wind up and release. It will teach you how to follow through with your lower body, helping your spins look smooth and stylish. It gives you the feeling of spinning flat around a vertical axis to stay in balance. And pretending you're actually riding helps you to spot your landing. This tutorial was filmed at Whistler Blackroom. You're riding with snowboard addiction. Our goal is to improve your riding.